It's the deck. The deck of the house on Little Dead Man's Key. Get a chance to see. There's the ocean back there. Rainwater barrels they collect the water with. Little side of the house. Now if you're scared of lizards, you might as well not come because they're all over. They're harmless, but this is the walk out to the beach uh, from the house. The house is right behind where this where I'm taking the picture right now. And uh, this is about 6 o'clock at night, our first night there. We hadn't even been there yet. And uh, the island's in the sound, so there's a lot of little islands around. And then what you can see in the distance is Long Island. And there's the little beach. You see those there's there was other islands around there they're all uninhabited this main one there is Long Island it of course has a population this is the main beach of the house two docks that's one of them and I'm walking that's why we're bouncing so hard there's a picture of my wife kind of a picture back there showing you the thatch probably get a picture of that later down at that peak is where the island ends and then there's a waterway to that next island down the whole island is filled with those uh, little bushes there except around the house it's nine and a half acres and it's full of those little bushes got trails but a lot of bushes crabs in the water bunch of little ones they, they didn't hurt you or nothing I was trying to catch a shot of them but you couldn't see any of them there was hundreds of them green room of the house I think I'm gonna give you a little tour of it that goes out to the front uh, gate little CD and stuff it's uh, the living room there got a fireplace you never use it 100 degrees why would you use that and then uh, that's the deck we started on in the kitchen or the dining room, excuse me. The whole house has the hurricane type shutters in them. And hopefully I'll get off this in a second. Pretty yard, a lot of palm trees. See that outside. <coughs> and the kitchen, there's Lori in there that comes with the kitchen. This is where you girls will be staying, Anna and Stephanie. And if you're not watching this for that, this that's the kitchen. Nice kitchen. That thing with the big board in it covered the back of the refrigerator. Right there, that's the fridge. I'm going to keep pointing again. <laughs> We're walking down the hallway. Tons of things people have brought. That looks like a snake, but it's a piece of driftwood. Photos of the camp that she has there. This is just a workroom. Um she keeps all her batteries she has solar power you see the batteries there on the floor and uh, the pump is right up there the water's up on the roof and gets warm and then uh, pumps down through the house and then the next room is the bathroom it was kinda messy because we were just getting settled in you can see my buddies were with me Kirk and Spock um, there they are Big whoop. It's got a bath and shower, but it's, it's water pressure is pretty low. This is the first bedroom. It's the brown room. Got a little net to keep the bugs off you. Although, although the bugs don't get in the house much. To the next room. This is the green room. This is where you put your kids. This looks like the, the typical 60s room. It's green with lime green floor. Just to give you an idea of what's what it looks like. This is the room we stayed in. It had a ceiling fan, the only one with a ceiling fan on it, so yeah buddy, that's the room we grabbed. Got a bunch of knickknacks everywhere. I think people must just leave their knickknacks there for some reason. And then we walk back out. 
and that's a view of the house little path that walks out to the front you might be able to hear all the Katie dids crazy. hear that when the Sun comes up the Katie dids go crazy I'm trying to leave most of the sound off to cover my own voice recovering uh, covering over my own voice that's the front dock right there that actually faces Long Island. You go straight across from there, about three quarters of a mile, and you go to the dock, and that's where they uh, drop you off at. So that's kind of nice. A bunch of conch shells there, and a oh, there's great snorkeling down in that corner. Welcome. Yeah, I don't know why I photographed all that junk, but down at that corner there, I saw bunches of uh, fish and barracuda pretty fun that hill right there in the center that's the one we were looking at buying but we didn't that's all Long Island those there are a bunch of other islands that nobody lives on I filmed a little bit of this to show you how rocky the soil is there's really not a whole lot of soil most of it is bushes and rock I know it's kind of boring, but let you know what you're getting yourself into if you go there. This you have to see. That's about a four or five foot shark we caught. I think it's a nurse shark. We didn't pull him into the boat. We just cut him loose. It's kind of fun seeing one pull up to boat like that. Here's just another little shot of, uh, you can see how shallow the water is. I mean, you can walk out there for 100 yards before it gets over your head. The beach goes down there, it goes around. That point where I said was good uh, snorkeling is that same point there, just on the other side of the island. There's some boats and stuff. I'm kind of close up now. There's nobody on them. Have a lot of seclusion at that little place. Cuts underneath the rock. This is low tide. At high tide, it looks like that rock goes right to the to the ground, but actually it's cut under there, and you can snorkel under there. Here you're going to get dizzy. But I was showing the paths that do lead through them bushes. There are some paths that, uh, so you can walk, uh, walk around. Good view of my wife and my snorkeling gear. And that's a pretty good view of the beach and how it cuts underneath there at low tide. There's me snorkeling, seeing a lot of fish. Sure. Us, we had to get that far away from shore to be able to boat to get the boat motor from dragging the ground that's the island so you don't have to worry about sharks now that is a different island but nobody lives on it we're heading towards shore I think to go uh, to go view the island or something this, that's why we're on the boat had a nice time on the boat there's a dock that you take off from the main island. Not much to look at, a lot of garbage. There's a cute little house there. They give you meals and stuff when you vacation there. That's Mrs. Wellman's relatives. The little road that comes down, and there's our rental car. This is the most beautiful beach I've ever seen in my whole life. The camera does absolutely no justice to how pretty that water was. It's at the very southern tip of the island. The road just came to an end. We made a little turn down a two track and we found this beach and it just goes for miles in both directions. Uh, last year when Lori and I was there we had time to walk it and every time you'd go around another bend there'd just be another beach. See as far as you can see there's beach there and it's really pretty beach. Yeah, am I making you dizzy with that? 
sorry. And then we walked about probably about two miles down that way and we saw nothing but beach. Sand is really fine. <clears throat> Very beautiful. That's one of the prettiest spots I've ever seen anywhere. Mm. Kind of like you're in the at the end of the world because you know you're at the southern tip of the island and beyond that there's hardly any people until you get to Jamaica man but it was really pretty one more quick shot because I'm so impressed by the the water and we're just this is riding down the road. That's quite a famous church right there we just passed. And I know it's hard to... Whoa, whoa, there it is. Could have edited that out, but I didn't. Quite a famous church. A lot of uh, quite well-constructed churches there. A lot of Anglian church, very similar to a Roman Catholic. This is what most of the island looks like, though, going down the road. Nothing much. Run across the house or two here and there like that. I think that was a, no, a school. I, nope, that was houses. But that's about what you see right there. A few houses here and there. And that's the main road and the only paved road that goes from one end to the other. There's the school. But that's, I mean, once you see that, what you see there... That's the whole island, pretty much. One road, a lot of old buildings, a lot of poor people. The town of Dead Man's Key. This is the town. Remember me saying there's no town? There's a little... That's the gas station and the store. That's the town. God. The only church you got on Long Island. Thought I might take a picture of it. The resort at the north end of the island. The gentleman there took us here. Really very, very pretty. Uh, one of the only really nice places on the island. <coughs> we had lunch there. Listen to this. This kid That's here. Right. They asked me again. Hey, what's your name? My name is Carol Christopher Smith. Everybody calls me Smitty Boy the Man. That is Smitty Boy the Man. Smitty Boy the Man. That's right. That's help, me. Help us find this place. All right. No problem with that. So we just video. So that's how they talk. That man was um, intoxicated, quite, which was all right. But it's a very picturesque uh, beach. Hey, there's my wife catching a fish. She was proud of herself that day. Sun is just coming up. Bahamian sun. Bahamian sun. Yes. This is me mumbling. Probably six o'clock in the morning. I'm trying to walk over rocks. That's why the camera's shaking so bad. I'm done walking. That's the day we went home. Beautiful sunrise. Beautiful day. Hope the wind stays low. Cleaned our boat up yesterday. We're gonna go over there today for like 15 minutes. That day we walked that beach as far as we could. I mean, we just almost out of sight of the island. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I pointed to it again. Rick reminded me. It was a beautiful sunrise. It's about five, probably six o'clock in the morning, 6:30 maybe at the the latest, and we were getting ready to leave, and I wanted to catch that sunrise. That's it. That's the first trip to Long Island.